in Psalms 50 and verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yahweh saith, what, uh, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Art thou, uh, Art that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? So you took this covenant, which means that you're supposed to take the law, statutes, and commandments. Yep. You're supposed to take the image of his son, and you're supposed to take all this and, 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 and hold it true and dear. You didn't do that. You made a farce of it. And, and because of that, like, like I said, like in Matthew 18 again, like I said, offenses was going to have to come because they were prophesied to happen. Okay? But woe to the man who the offenses must come by. So now, since you wanted to be that manifest destiny, you got to also deal with the fact of who that man was going to be and what, the, what, what was going to happen and what was going to be the destruction of it. And the, and the destruction of it was the fact that you was the vessel fitted for destruction and you're going to be destroyed for it. Period. Bottom line. So this is the image and all this other shit is bullshit, okay? And if you still walk around believing that and don't have a true name in the Hebrew or the Father is not Yeshua or Yahweh or any of that, because if you believe in any of that, it's only one name because Zephaniah 3 and 9 says that you have to call on one name and it's all going to be on one accord. So if it can't have 400 people and we all got different names that we call it on. There's going to be one name and if you don't have it, your ass is still out of luck. Go ahead, read. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 24. It says, The earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the face he of the judges. The he covered the face. He covered the face of the true, uh, the true Messiah, man. That, that's the true judge. He gonna judge in righteousness. He gonna rule in righteousness. And he gonna rule forever. And I ain't talking about for a long uh, period or an eon. This Jackson. <laughs> hey man, it says cover the faces of the judges, man. You got a whole book called Judges. When you Google Samuel, uh, not Samuel. When you Google Samson, all right, you gonna you gonna see a white man with long fucking silky hair, man. You know, if you Google Paul, you gonna see a white man. You know, hey, but you know, Google the uh, the Byzantine painting of Paul and of Moses. You gonna see black men, man. You know, they covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So he turned it, he turned it from a statement to a rhetorical ass question. He said, I'm telling you who he is, but if you if he ain't that, then you tell me who he is. Because I'm telling you who he is. Okay? So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not only not only a dreadful God, he's, he's also got a bit of dry ass humor. Because it's like if you don't want to listen to me, I'm gonna fuck your ass up in the end. That's a rhetorical question. He's like, I already know, but I'm asking anyway. I'm asking anyway. He's like, like, how you gonna tell me something that I invented and created? Exactly like what you were saying. He created everything. It's like with my parents, like, man, haven't you asked your kid? Like, didn't I tell you not to do that? Like, you know you told him not to do that, but yeah. you asked him anyway. That's right. Didn't I tell you not to do that? Right, <laughs> you know? right, right, right. You got I got something. It's in the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter uh, 2 and verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, man. And who is the son of perdition, man? The so-called white man. He's Saida, man. All right? He's the one that's destroying the whole world, man. Yeah. Back right. when that was written, that was talking about Romans, or whatever the case might be. Well, who the Romans now? The Edomite. Still, and, who, and they build their coliseums and shit, and, and they and they things like they did back in the day, Mount C and the whole deal. Go ahead, I made the coliseums today, man. These are those sports events that they That's go right. to. Football, That's right. Football, basketball. When you look at football or basketball, any arena, it always looks like a coliseum, man. That's right. And then you see the uh, you see so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native American, the, the centerfold of them. They're the gladiators. They're the gladiators, man. They just got it less gruesome. That's exactly. They they ain't dying at the hands at the motherfucking mouths of lions and shit. And this that and the other. But like I said, you take you take American football, motherfuckers are getting broke up in that game. They trying to they trying to not have it as brutal as it used to be. But motherfuckers were getting paralyzed. They they, they were, their brain was going bad on them 15, 20 years after they retired and shit with CTE and shit like that. Bad spots. But if, go ahead. I was just gonna say, man, it's almost like it's kind of worse, man, because you get somebody like they've been in the game forever, like Kobe Bryant or LeBron James, man, by the time they get yo age 60, they can't get can barely walk from all that yeah. jumping up and down and shit. That's they right. get bad knees. 
Think about jumping up and down for 30 years, man. That's it. You get wear and tear on your body, right. man. Oh, man, they give you a big check. Oh, you, you, you be all right. She's gonna be going a $50 million check, you know? Yep. Uh, reading on, verse 4, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. He opposed himself and exalted himself that all that is called God, man. Hey, uh, let me get a precept for you. Go ahead. Or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. God says he exalted, he exalted and opposed himself as if he is God, man. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 16. It says, surely, uh, let me start up. Verse uh, Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe unto them that seek ye to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us, man? Because this is the way he imposes and exalts himself up above God, man. He he get, he get in uh, the congregations in secret. How can we destroy the Israelites, man? How can we see? How can we make wickedness on the? Uh, how can we make wickedness seem right, man? And how can we make these people uplifted? You know, it says, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. The potter's clay is your house creations, man. You're gonna esteem the Lord's creations, uh, you're gonna esteem wickedness as if the Lord had said it, man. You know, it says, for for shall the work say of him who met that, it's like, it. shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the thing framed say to him that framed it, he had no understanding, and that's what Esau say, man. Oh, that ain't the right way to do it. I'm gonna do it this way. And then you have everybody else esteeming like it's the word of God, man. That's what Esau do. It's Isaiah 5 and verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. God, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, man. That's what Esau all about. He literally take the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible and turn it upside down and esteem it as if it is good, man. That's his MO. That's what, that's what he's, that's what his pleasure is doing, man. He has pleasure in doing that. Okay. You got any more? Okay, great. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Like motherfuckers be like, look at that, uh, that, uh, that New Zealand shooting, man. That dude ran up in that mosque and had to switch guns on him. Hey, man, I laughed at that. I rejoiced at that, man. Because it's, it's, biblically, it's biblically right, but everybody uh, saw it uh, uh, being sorrowful, man. Acting like it's a bad thing that, that happened, man. All right? That's Esau. That's Esau's fucking putting darkness for light, man. That was a, that was a glorious thing that that shit happened, man. homosexuality is cool. Yep. That's against the fight. That's right. Being a drag. You know? You know? That's saying that uh, uh, adultery is cool, man. You know? Or how having a woman run the household is cool, man. Hey, anything that's a, uh, 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 anything the Bible is with, the so-called white man turns around and, and frames, the way they say you frame a mistress as a law, man. Yeah, by law. You know? That's putting that bitter for sweet, man. Yeah. And, 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 and this, this ain't nothing new. All these things under the sun, there's nothing new. Okay, because here's an account back in Judah where a guy was giving an account of that. He was basically saying, but now, are uh, they, this is, uh, excuse me, Judas 5 and uh, 19, but now uh, they return to their power and uh, come up from the places where they were scattered. So this is what's happening now. We're coming up from the places that we're scattered. The elect, okay, the men of the Lord that, that want to understand his word and do his will, okay, so we're, we're not being scattered anymore because of the fact that we're coming out of the mindset of Egypt, okay? But here, he was letting them know that if these people I, 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 I still going to fuck off, which is what you say. They go out their way to have us go to fuck off now. You know? Hey, they, they, they give you a recipe or some shit, you'll have some shit, and it's red beans and rice, and they got pork in the fucking gravy to have your ass going to fuck off. I have my ass going to fuck off. I get, I'm looking for beef brats, man. I'm like, man, I ain't have a, I, I, I got taste for a brat, man. I got taste for a brat, man. I'm looking for beef brats, I find chicken brats, man. I'm eating a pack of chicken broths, man. Something told me to look at the back of the goddamn. I'm fucking like casing this boy. Hall casing. It says organic hall casing. I'm like, oh, God. I threw the whole fucking thing away, man. Right. Hey, like I said, I some years ago, Benji let me know that red beans and rice from Popeye's. And I had two big orders because I was crazy about it. Okay? You know how you get you get that, that chicken package and whatnot, you know, 10 pieces yeah, of yeah. whatever. 
I had that. He said, okay, what you want for your side? I had two large sides. Yeah. I said, let me get a, a large red beans and rice. He said, what you want for the other side? Another large red beans and rice. Okay. He said, you got some, uh, that right there, that, uh, that's got a uh, pork. I said, I don't know, how red beans and rice got pork? He said, the gravy that they use on it, they make it work. Hey, somebody came, I thought their car got threw up on, because I threw both the motherfuckers in there. Man, the fuck, man. Yeah. The fuck, bro, I, I say can't do the same thing. I used to love Pop-Tarts, bro. When I was oh, in the world, shit. bro, I used to love Pop-Tarts, bro. <laughs> I used, to, I used to like them cold, bro. Right. Man, I, I used to love Pop-Tarts, bro. I, used, I bought a box of Pop-Tarts. With the brother, bought a box of Pop-Tarts. Get in the car. Brother like, hey, man, you know they got pork in it. I'm like, how I got, how I got pork in it? He said, that's gelatin, bro. That's pork. You know what I mean? The, the correction is gelatin ain't pork, but it's fat. You know, you can't eat fat. It's in the scripture. You're not supposed to be eating fat, you know? So anything with gelatin in it, throw it out because it's getting chicken fat, beef fat, pork fat, you know? But I had to throw them motherfuckers out because every Pop-Tart got gelatin in it, man. You know, I throw the bitches away, man, but that's just sacrificing for the truth, you know, right. and for my own good. Hey, he put, he saw put fat in everything. Hey, that's why when, uh, even when you buy your ground beef, right, it never, it's never 100% yeah, just like straight 30, beef. It's 70, always 30. 93, 7, 85, 15. Right. It's always a little fat because the fat be supposed to sacrifice to the most size, and you eat his portion of the food, man. Right. And it's been part of making you grow up. That's right, man. It's beneficial to us not to eat it. And also, you, if you on the, on, the, on the medical note, the fat is where all the fucking disease is uh, uh, yeah, right. on to, right. man. So you eat the fat, you actually eat the disease, whatever that, 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 that animal had, man. That's right, man. You know? Yeah, question, buddy. Well, I think I'm kind of familiar. Y'all the Moors or y'all the, like, five percenters? Y'all explain it to me. Y'all explain it to me. No, we can eat the rice. Okay, that's right. He breathes. I think I, yeah. Sam, you know, we see y'all Sam, bitch. Oh. So-called Negro Latino. Yeah, I mean, Native Americans. I'm familiar with you all. You familiar with the slave trade? Oh. How we got over? How did so-called Negro get over there to America? Not the slave trade? Yeah. I got it right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I what know. You got over there. Packers of ship like sardine. Mm -hmm. And you know that was prophesied that somebody gave you the run in 2868. Yeah, in 150 years before they started right doing this to us, they were doing it to the Northern Kingdom. The conquistadors mm -hmm. was rounding those brothers up down in South and Central America and, and doing the same thing. They learned Spanish at the end of the whip the same way we learned English at the end of the whip. See, that's, that's how they made the divide. See, when you talk about the so-called Negro that was here in America, you're looking at the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And see, all this is the Northern Kingdom, and that's the bigger bulk of it, and they had already came over here. That's why, because they knew about that back in Solomon, that they was over here. Go ahead. Read this. You know, you know, that slave trade right there was probably sad to fight for a bit. Now we get to go play, you know? I heard Read that before. Read it for him, boy. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with the ships. The Lord said he shall bring us into Egypt again with ships. You know what Egypt means? Somebody get uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 5. Yeah, and if you look up the word itself, it actually goes in double straight. Yeah, because you, you, you know, it's like, go ahead. Go ahead. The children of Israel, you, you familiar with the story of Moses, right? How Moses went and got the children of Israel out of Egypt before. You saw the Ten Commandments, Charles and Esther shit. You can't remember that, right? But the Lord said he's going to bring us into Egypt again with shit. It was never recorded that we went back to that old Egypt. So and, what is this Egypt talking about? And, and, it was, and, and, when they, and when they left, they walked out. They didn't need a ship. Yeah. They didn't need a ship, though. When, when, when he delivered them the first time, they, 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 just, they just packed up everything, their animals and everything, and they walked out of Egypt. So why would they need ships to go back in? Well, they walked through the Red Sea. The sea was a bump of sea there. Yeah, it was, exactly. But they walked through the Red Sea. The Lord said, this time we're going to need ships. I stood between the Lord and you at that time, and I says to show you the word of the Lord. For ye were afraid by reason of the fire, and went not up into the mountain, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Uh, Deuteronomy 5 verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, right. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt right. from the house of bondage. So that's the word. It means bondage. You were brought 
meant to burn his skin because he be burned as much as I Right? And that's just me double straight. Double straight. Right? Straight is a hard, not, not straight as in a hard place. Okay, that type of thing. Straight hard. I got, I got some literature or something. Oh, yeah. I'm not running like that. I'm impressed. I mean, I recognize y'all. I have that blue, you know. Got wrestling with me. Okay, you, you got YouTube? Bye, yeah. Okay, just go on GM. Bye. Look for GMS in uh, Chicago. Okay, GMS Chicago. This is YouTube. GMS, GMS Chicago. GMS, all GMS all Chicago. Yeah. Okay, let me finish this real quick. By the way, the room I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. All right, so hey, uh, that's talking about uh, Israel. You know, we're not going to see uh, it, the land of Israel no more. So, so right. that, that lie about the motherland being being uh, Egypt and Africa, that's a lie. Okay. The only, the, only we, the only reason we we came from Africa is because we were in Israel, and back in 70 AD, we fled Roman persecution. The Romans wanted to kill us, so we went, we fled into uh, Egypt. Because the, the, the Africans, which is not our people, but we all had the same complexion, we went down and I had amongst them. And for them, the Africans and the Ishmaelites, which is the Arabs, they sold us the to, they sold us. to the Edomites. Yeah. So, to the Edomites that's with that's the so-called white men, because we look at that's not nice. Esau Edom. That's no enemy. That's who put us on the slave ship so, and brought us over there. And before they brought us over there, our brothers, the, the Northern Kings, which is the so-called uh, uh, Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, uh, right? They was already over here. And they came over, Christopher Columbus, the devil, he came over here and took his oath because he actually was looking for a land called India. But really, he came over here with five Hebrew interpreters. He knew, yeah, he knew what was over here. Yeah. He already knew what was over here. Y'all got a uh, car or something? Uh, how, how, how long y'all be out here? I'll be out here probably like until about 7. 7.30. About 7 30. Yeah. Let me oh. finish one last okay, part. Okay, so, okay. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Right? You'll be sold. So where we sold it? We sold on Hotchin Box over there. We have a young man still on top. We get sold and separate the household. Some went down south. Some went north. For bond men, that mean a bond man mean a slave boy, and bond women, slave, slave woman, and no man shall buy you. That, no man go redeem you. Yep, that's so right. you won't go be redeemed. So nobody came along was able to redeem you out of it. That's why we still here because we're waiting on the Lord. So even though they so called emancipated us and whatnot, we still wasn't free. All, all we would do was transfer. Emancipation yeah. just means yeah. to be transferred. Right. Yeah. Slavery went from south to north. Right. Emancipation, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, uh, phone number, somebody contact y'all. No, you YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, man. Hey. How long? How long? How long? How long? How long? How I think I saw y'all here before. Five back, but I ain't have time. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Contact y'all, bro. Make it. Man, I like that blue, y'all, man. That's what y'all doing out here, man. I know about y'all. I know about y'all, believe me. I'm deep into all that. What y'all think about Nation Islam? Y'all down with them? No, no, no. Why? 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 If you're dealing with the Quran, go look up Surah Abaka 2 and 40. It'll tell you that the Israelites are supposed to remember his covenant. It says that in their own book. Why? Because the Islam was made up from with the Nisian Council of Khadijah and Muhammad by the Nisian Council to try to get them people, like I said, 70 AD. 70 AD when we came out of there, people went into our land. And this was made up by some wicked ass Jakes to try to get out get those people out of our land. Okay, okay. A little differences. Can y'all come together on little differences? Say what? This is what we came up with. This is the Bible says it's not talking. We're coming together with the nation. Yeah. The Bible says don't come with Islam? Yeah, that's right. And I just told you that it's just said, it just said to remember your covenant. Now, if you go remember your covenant that was given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jacob named changed to Yashtarala, and these 12 sons and the descendants, which you are part of, if you're supposed to hold on to this covenant, how you gonna be connected to that? How you gonna be connected to it? Maybe got to Let me come back to y'all team a little more. This is, this is Isaiah. Okay, chapter, let's keep it going. Isaiah chapter 30, 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. When you go into the word, seek it, search. So seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. 
And when we read, you're going to understand, so understand what it's talking about. Seek 